Hey, in today's quick bite, I'm going to be going over the new thing for the teleporters. I'm going to show you exactly how it works and why it's useful. So say we have this little block here, and uh, we're going to action record it, moving left and right. Maybe we'll move it up and down a lot, too. Okay, so this thing is not actually going to be visible. We're just going to put a tag on it. So let's pop a tag on there. Oops, and we'll place the tag in the center of the block, and we'll call this tag... Um, a. Okay, so there's A. We're going to make this thing not visible and not collatable. All right, so now we're going to have something teleport to that. So I'll get another block and we'll give this a color. Okay, and so this thing is going to teleport to A. So if we just put a microchip on here, we can put a teleporter on here and we'll go ahead and place it in the center of the block. And this thing will teleport to A. And so we can see this thing follows, you know, this action recorder. Okay, now the reason for this new ordering in the teleporter is say we wanted to teleport yet another object to a point on this block. So here we'll get a another tag out, and we'll call this B, I suppose. And let's say we want it to be right next to it, B, okay? So if I turn this off for a second, we'll put a teleporter on this block here, and we'll have this thing teleport to B. So we can see it's next to it. And maybe I'll just move this. There we go. So we can see they're side by side and they're touching. Cool? All right. now. So here's the teleporter for B, and here's the teleporter for A. So if I have them both on, we can see that the blue block kind of lags behind and doesn't stay in the proper spot. It kind of uh, moves in and out. We can see, right, it's kind of lagging. So if we highlight the teleporter ordering, uh, this is when they will teleport in the sing in a single frame. So what we can do is we can have A teleport first and then B activate and teleport and since they'll happen in the same frame B will always be perfectly next to A and now we can see that it teleports correctly so this is why these things are useful uh, this is why this new ordering is useful and this doesn't have to be at, at 10 and 9 by the way these can be at uh, you know uh, this could be 0 and this could be 1 um, but for some reason they made them start at 10. Um, so the idea is A teleports to the point it needs to be here, and then this one teleports to the point B, and it all happens in one frame. So this is, uh, this is basically what it's useful for. So, you know, if you had a character that was, like, writing on a, on a, on a tank or something and you were teleporting the gun to the hand but you're also teleporting the character to the tank this would be useful um, and I'm sure there are plenty of other things other people will figure out awesome uses for the fact that these can be wired is really cool um, you could do a lot of stuff through logic so I think that's great um, but yeah there you go so I hope this is helpful and uh, I'll see you next time